Hey guys, we have this iPhone XS board that was mailed to us all the way from Doradoro, Puerto Rico from Carmen. Um, the notes say the phone turned off randomly on a full charge, left it plugged in overnight, no luck. Took it to another shop, they told them, told her to just buy a new phone. So she uh, mailed it into us. Um, switch over to the overhead camera view. Let's jump right into the repair. So it took up uh, DC power here. And set the system to 4.2 volts. As soon as we output voltage, we're drawing 2.2 full amps. So we have a full short somewhere. Let's check under thermal to see if it shows up. So switching to the display screen, we have our thermal view and outputting voltage now. So we're drawing two full amps. You can see it getting hot here in this area of the board. Okay, let's check that again. So, switch over to um, microscope view here. I'm also going to open ZXW. So if we look at our battery connector here, PP bat VCC. Let me take a measurement on that line. It is good. So we can measure VDD main right here on J5700. Alright, so right here. So we do have a full short on VDD main. So we're gonna go ahead and split the board here and isolate uh, where our short is. Um, we saw in thermal, we got heat here, but that doesn't tell us much. That's just the battery connector. Uh, so I'm gonna turn on the heating platform and give it a couple minutes to heat up. We have the board separated here. Can you rapidly cool the two boards. And while we're here, let's clean the uh, thermal paste. All right, now that we have the two boards sep separated, we can test um, on the VDD main line. Check, check bottom board here. So we have full short on VDD main on our bottom board. Um, so for this, I'm going to just inject voltage into the line. Alright, so we're hooked up here. Let's start with just one volt. Switching back to thermal view. Ok, 
Okay, and outputting voltage now. This down here. And outputting voltage now. So I can't really see anything. Let's go up to two volts. Outputting voltage, and now we can see it. Um, it's right there. Right, I'm putting voltage. Okay, so that cap right there. switch to the display screen, you can see that that is in fact a VDD main capacitor. So let's uh, remove it from the board. Short is gone. I'll switch back to the overhead view. Just quickly uh, clean the board here. All right. So now what we're gonna do is grab a jig, a jig, and a test screen, and see if the uh, phone is functional. voltage and prompt to boot. Let's see if we get an Apple logo. Got Apple logo. Let's see if we can get to the passcode screen. Perfect. So the brightness is super low, but it um, did make it to the passcode screen and the phone is on. So this repair is complete. I'll switch over to the display screen so we can run a recap. Uh, this phone came in dead. Um, it was pulling two full amps on DC power. We identified a full short on VDD main. Um, under thermal, we couldn't identify the exact location of the short. We just saw a lot of heat at the battery connector. So we split the board and tested each side. We found a full short on the RF board, the bottom side. And then using thermal and freeze spray, we identified the culprit as C419 underscore K. It uh, removed from the board and the short is relieved and the phone turns on when in the testing jig. So. We'll uh, replace that cap, um, reconnect the top and bottom board, run some final tests, and then get this phone back to the customer. Thanks for watching.